A question of character. character. Mike Jones. Who? Mike Jones. Who? Mike Jones! Is a valorous teen with excellent hair. Purveyor of the frosted tip. Mike Jones lands at Coracola Island in the South Seas via Heli Chopper to talk to the locals about throwing baseballs. Amongst other things. Like how pretty they are. Or about a special man. The locals know him as Uncle Steve. He hates being called Uncle Steve. Call him Dr. Jones. Who? Dr. Jones. Who? Dr. Jones! But they actually don't even call him that. They call him Dr. J. Dr. J is a famous archaeologist researching lost ruins in the South Seas. Dr. J wrote Mike Jones a letter. He invited him to Coral Cola Island. Then he got abducted. Mike Jones is told this by a topless man. Excuse me. Topless chief. And his shaman sister. She is not topless. But her skull is skinless. Mike Jones must rescue Uncle Dr. Steve Jones J while defeating the deadly monsters interfering with his mission. Therefore, Mike Jones will be issued a weapon. The ultimate mystical weapon passed down for generations. A yo-yo. But not just a yo-yo, the island yo-yo. Which of course is just a yo-yo. Mike Jones strikes. The yo-yo is incredibly efficient in killing animals, which the people of Coracola denote as monsters. To quest throughout the islands, Mike Jones will use the subsea. A submarine left by Dr. J, navigated by a robot named Navcom. Navcom will allow Mike Jones to comprehend the majestic language of dolphin through translation. Quee cry, quee k cry queen, which of course means please find my son. He has disappeared. Mike Jones will honor her request. Mike Jones will venture, meeting various chiefs and visiting multiple islands with uncreative names. Everything ends with cola. Tuna cola. How do you do cola? Or well. There are many secrets to find within the South Seas. Piano secrets. Water spout secrets. And footprint secrets. Mike Jones will uncover these footprint secrets by using the hop. He is a master of the hop. It will save his life. However, if Mike Jones happens to die, he will enter a glorious afterlife. Mike Jones is saved. After entering the anus of a new island, Mike Jones will explore. Mike Jones will find a bottle. The bottle was meant to be found by Mike Jones. Who? Mike Jones. Who? Mike Jones! Dr. J explains how he has been kidnapped by aliens. Evil aliens. Good aliens would never kidnap. The bottle also holds the codes to make Subsea die and go into other island anuses. Mike Jones will equip himself with the finest weaponry. He will obtain the shooting star. Mike Jones's power is measured in hearts and finishing this mission will require a big heart. Luckily, Mike Jones will find a big heart and also a baseball bat. To keep his heart pure, Mike Jones will drink nutritious coconut milk or drugs. Mike Jones pops pills and it gets him going. During a battle, he may call time out. The unsuspecting monster will obey his request, not knowing that it was actually a special ruse for Mike Jones to use magic. Freeze. Punish. Mike Jones does not only kill with his weapons. Sometimes he kills with wits, but primarily he kills with weapons. Mike Jones has the armor of your average everyday teenager. A blue t-shirt and jeans. Along with the hop, Mike Jones will use the Mike Jones slide. This allows him to position himself by adding an extra step, but sometimes it causes an issue for entering rooms. Mike Jones is unafraid of displaying his femininity. He is willingly changed to Michelle, the finest young woman to ever enter the exclusively female land of Shikola, and he will work it. Finally, Mike Jones finds Uncle Dr. Steve J. Jones that looks like his father. J. Steve Dr. Uncle Jones explains of the Argonians, good aliens that escaped 
evil aliens while carrying three magic cubes. And after he tells Mike Jones of this incredible and unbelievable story, he asks him if he took the bananas out of his ears. Mike Jones has strange fetishes. Mike Jones will find the magic cubes, unleashing the supernova. Then he will finally come face to face with Soda, the leader of the evil aliens. And after listening to its fearsome threats, Mike Jones will jam bananas in his ears. Mike Jones fearlessly faces Zoda, destroys their spaceship core, and then faces uglier Zoda. And he will triumph, being saved by his friends, cheered by the locals, and questioned about his ear bananas. It is his passion. Finally, Mike Jones and Dr. J will find out that the magic cubes were actually seven compacted children. Alien children that are sadly the last remaining remnants of their entire civilization that has perished. But all of that is forgotten when they see a banana cream pie. Then they go fishing. Mike Jones, a team that has bested an impossible journey, becoming the most incredible warrior throughout the land of Coral Cola. Where? The land of Coral Cola. Where? Shut up. Next episode, kick, punch, it's all in your face. Quest with me, learn with us, enrich your mind, empower your anchor like our <laughs> Subscribe to our page, put character into quest. Return every Monday for more. A question, question. Oh, question. character. character.